Hi everyone, this is Tommy from Studio Ultra Mega with another Operation Battle Ready tutorial. Episode 27, Dynamic Highlighting. For today's tutorial, um, we're using violet through birch for a gradient, and I'm going to show you how I mix up that gradient here. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be dipping into this so much during the, uh, this tutorial, uh, you should really make sure that you've gone back and looked at our um, tutorials on how to use gradients and the fact that we're using a purple the purple to birch gradient here isn't really the important part of the tutorial uh, any dark and light color together will work we're gonna go through how to do really dynamic highlighting okay now we're not doing anything so advanced as OSL but when we're um, painting a figure we always have to consider the light source and you know, barring some light source on the model or some specific special effect I always assume a general overhead source uh, but that that kind of means I don't highlight as strongly on the undersides of things that would be in shadow from an overhead light source so as we go through this model I'm working my way up that purple to birch gradient uh, starting on the dark end and you'll see as I go through I continually uh, pick out lighter parts of the gradient and those lighter parts start to end up accumulating as highlights on the top surfaces of things you'll see his pecs get a lot of attention uh, the, the his thighs especially the knee that's sticking out and presenting a lot of surface to an overhead light source uh, these are the, the corners and angles that are, that are going to get the most attention uh, when you do dynamic highlighting. We want the undersides and bottoms of things to naturally look like they're in a state of shadow. noticing in this tutorial we've got a new camera angle on the situation um, I'd love to know what you guys think about it either drop a comment or uh, message me those of you who know how to message me and uh, I'd love your opinion on this new camera angle I think it's pretty sweet uh, I just wanted to see what you guys thought of it Oh, and yeah, the only things on this model that are going to end up being purple here are the, the, the pants and the, the outer shirt there. Um, so that's what we were focusing our highlights on. We're not skipping the arms. They're just going to end up a different color.
we've got the first round of highlights done and you can kind of see how we're favoring the tops uh, of, of surfaces that would get natural light. Uh, and now we're moving up the gradient uh, to a portion that's closer to a 50-50 mix of purple and birch. And we're gonna do a fresh lap. And as we go around this time, of course, we're leaving some of those previous highlights visible. We're not completely covering them. Uh, that, again, is going to help our highlights pop and be dynamic and, and not just be flat. Uh, when you don't pay attention to where light comes from, uh, you just highlight evenly all the way around, it kind of just makes your figure look outlined. Um, by paying attention to light sources and uh, favoring uh, surfaces exposed to light, uh, you create a lot more dynamic realism in your paint job. Okay, we finished another round of highlights and now we're moving up the gradient uh, to a brighter spot and it's probably closer to like a 60, 40, 70, 30 uh, uh, ratio in favor of the birch. Uh, but the exact ratio isn't important. What, it's, what is important is I lay that color down uh, and, and blend it into the previous layer. If that's too stark, if that's too high a jump, I go back and pick out of the gradient a little bit lower. Uh, I don't want to make so high a jump that I can't make the blend uh, from one part of the highlight to the next look natural. So uh, it's a lot of seasoning, a lot of uh, taste and taste and try. Um, that's why I don't, I don't cling too hard to ratios um, because it, what matters is what it looks like on the model. So uh, if you put that highlight down and it's a little too bright or not popping enough, you just adjust where you pull that particular color out of your gradient uh, and, and make that adjustment on the fly.
Okay, with that round of highlights done, we uh, move up the gradient to probably 80% birch now. And uh, you'll notice as we keep moving up the gradient, we start to keep our highlights tighter and closer to the edges and corners of things uh, to provide emphasis to those corners and edges. Um, and uh, we need to have some of those previous highlights from underneath layers exposed so we can see the nice transition. Uh, also, you notice I keep hitting all the, the like official seams in the pants. I want to keep those highlighted too. Uh, they they're sticking out of the pant real nice. There, want to keep them popping uh, to uh, emphasize the fashion sense of our Aleph Deva here. Now look at the highlights we've got going on the front of this leg here. Do you see the smooth transition? Now, you're probably not painting along, you're probably just watching, but uh, I mean, you've been watching the process here. This isn't difficult. Everybody watching this can do this. Uh, you're watching me do it right now, and it's not even particularly hard. Uh, it's just having the patience to go through with the thin paint and the gradient and go round and round the model, slowly building up these highlights favoring the corners and favoring the edges. Um, it's a game of patience. Uh, but as you see, this video is also, it's double speed. Uh, a lot of the videos recorded are four times speed because I, I, I want you to get to see everything. Uh, kept this one a little bit slower so you get a better sense of how long this would really take. Um, this whole section of this guy, the purple section and all these highlights is probably two and a half, three hours of work um, if, you're, if you're pacing yourself. Uh, that's reasonable for a single model, right? Uh, this is a level of painting you can do on your tabletop forces. This, we don't need to showcase for this. And you can see here, even on the ribbed section of his coat, I'm still constantly favoring that top edge of uh, each banded section. And uh, that's just gonna uh, give extra depth to the sculpt. It's gonna emphasize the sculpt. It's gonna pick those pieces out. It's gonna help our model pop. And as we've put these final little uh, mostly birch highlights on here at the end, um, I would like to take a moment to thank all of our patrons over at Patreon who make these videos possible. We appreciate you guys so very much.